Steve Corda, Darren Blina Togging, August Nolig Rongamok. In uh, Parliament this week, we we're very pleased that the FC funding, for which uh, I have held two public seminars in Ireland already and will do some more into the future, whereby the European Union and the EIB uh, give funding and uh, this helps to get projects up and running. It's being extended from 315 billion to 500 billion by 2020. Ireland has gained about a billion already and there are 14 projects ready to be passed and that will bring it to about two and a half billion or so forth. So that's a big opportunity for us, a good plus for Europe. This week also, only today, I had uh, the pleasure of being live on Sky Television where we were discussing Brexit. And I spoke on this as the Fine Gael delegation leader during the week, emphasising the great uh, developments last week where we have guaranteed that there will be no hard border in Ireland, that the Good Friday Agreement is going to be preserved in all its parts, that we're going to have the common travel area, and that funding for peace projects and interreg will continue into the future. These are guarantees, commitments, and everybody in Parliament accepts it. And now we look forward to phase two. And hopefully, uh, Theresa May's rather vociferous colleagues might tone it down a small bit, get in behind her and give her every opportunity to negotiate a good agreement. I use the phrase, it's been bail and host. And that would be good advice to some of her colleagues, I think. Silent vi vice is the best vice. So hopefully that will happen. And then we move forward, as I said, to a final agreement by March 2019. Also this week, we presented the Sakharov Prize. It went to <coughs> the democratic opposition in Venezuela. And listening to them, you would be struck by the difficulties they have in that country and many other countries and how lucky we are to live in a stable democratic country like Ireland. For instance, 60% of the cocaine that comes into Europe is routed through Venezuela. This is what goes on in a lot of these countries, so hopefully we can see improvements there and the democratic opposition uh, can get into power and get democracy established there for the good of all their people. We also had some very interesting meetings this week and discussions on wind energy, wind energy. Ireland is second in Europe in relation to wind energy. Wind energy is contributing 263,000 jobs uh, to the European economy, is contributing 8 billion in terms of exports, 5 billion in terms of savings in CO2 emissions and uh, the import of fossil fuels and also of course 5 billion in tax to various governments. We have a great opportunity to do further develop wind energy in Ireland, especially in the offshore area. I can see big movement in this. We have the best in Europe in terms of offshore wind, and I think we can move there into the future for the benefit of our economy, to import less fossil fuels, and to play our part in the whole question of climate change. I'm pleased to see movements in that regard in Ireland now, so long may it continue. Finally, it was a pleasure to be called today as the final speaker in the European Parliament for the year 2017. The President said, maybe I'd like to sing an Irish song. I didn't sing an Irish song, even though I was tempted to sing Oro Shea de Vahawaila. But I did wish everybody a safe home. Oscar I spoke Oscar and I said, Nala Kona, Dave Gulair. August and Rodkey and Dave Gulair. Gulmi Mahogiv, Nala Kona, Agus Gihime Shev, Sanavlian. Slán o Strasbourg.